Hey everyone. The opposition bench has been very keen to demand more public spending, but it's not as if Theresa is not meeting them halfway. She just pledged an extra billion pounds worth of public spending, albeit it's heading for Northern Ireland as part of the cost of keeping the government in power. At £100 million each, the DUP MPs are costing the same as top Premier League footballers, and ironically, the last great Premier League footballer from Northern Ireland was George Best, and he'd probably feel very at home in the House of Commons with its subsidised bars. The way I look at it really is that Mrs May spent a billion pounds to live in Downing Street, but in the context of the London property market, it's nothing too out of the ordinary. But for a reminder of what proper government spending or correction government waste it looks like, let's look at the glorious sight of the new white elephant aircraft carrier HMS Elizabeth, which we've got to look at this week. That was Gordon Brown that signed off on that one. £6 billion in rising so far, plus more if the pound goes down further against the dollar, plus we're going to have to buy fighter jets to put on the thing. Those would be the F-35s. Uh, for those who have been following development of that particular money pit, you'll know what the F stands for. Um, in a show of technical press, it turns out that the boat runs on Windows XP, though, and uh, given how far behind schedule it's all been, it wouldn't be surprising if the rooms inside were kitted out by Carol Smiley and Handy Andy. Given government incompetence, it frankly wouldn't surprise me if the hull turned out to be covered in Grenfell Tower cladding, but in the meantime, if it doesn't work out, or if the F-35s never arrive, I suppose we can just park in the Thames estuary and ask Boris to advertise it as a small regional airport. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.